There is an old saying, if you want to master a craft, make sure you can handle the basics, or that you master the basics, that is. And by the end of this video, you will have seen how you can master basic authentication with Cypress. So we have here the famous Internet Heroku app, and that provides us with a nice basic authentication page to test. So when we click here, we have here username and password is admin, okay. So we click it and that says admin and admin. And we can do sign in. Now we want to save it. And now we are logged in. Now the question is, how can we do this in Cyprus? Well, there's a quick and dirty way. And there is a quick but not so dirty way. And I'm going to show you both. So if we go to Cyprus, I have here just a boilerplate test if you want. So we have a describe block and an if. Let's say basic out um, test one. And I'm just going to copy this and have the test two, which we're going to do as well. So the first one that we want to try is, well, it's, it's basically a pending the username and password in the URL that we want to um, that we we want to test. So let's see how if this works without appending that. So we have CI dot visit, and we want to visit this page here. And then on the same page, we just want to get. I know. Let's see. Can we get this one? What is this? this is a p-tag. A p-tag and has some text in it. Okay. So we go to CI and we want to get, we have the p, the p-tag and we just do should uh, include. So should uh, what do we want? What do we want? We want it to, be, to include uh, text, and we want to say I don't know congratulations, right? That's what is here. It says congratulations. Just copy that one. Good, and we save it, and then we do npx Cypress open to open our Cypress. Just, I'll just pause the video until Cypress opens on my machine. And we have Cypress open. We have the test. Let's just try and run it. And it will fail with an unauthorized because, well, we didn't really provide it with um, a way to go over the basic authentication. So as I was saying, the first option that we have is to append to the URL that we're visiting the username and password. And to do that, we just go to admin and then admin because it's the same. So first you would have username and then password and then at internet. Uh, whoops, I think I put this one. It's not here, but here. Okay, we save this one. We go again into Cypress. And now when we run, run the test, we see that it passed. So that's option number one. It isn't the most um, classy way of doing it, but it does do the trick. For option number two, we're still going to do, I mean, we can actually copy this whole thing. And what we will change is the first part because we want to keep the assertion. Yeah? So we're going to visit the page, the same page, but we're going to do it in such a way that um, we're basically sending also the authentication headers. So we're basically saying, okay, I'm already authenticated because I have the authentication header. And please just show me the page. And how do we do that? So 
here we have so the visit has um, options yeah so first is the string the url that we want to to, to uh, visit and then we can provide it with some options one of those options is actually the um, headers so we can do with the headers and what do we want to provide authentication authentication or is it authorization let me think um it is authorization if i learn how to type this okay and here we need to have our headers but the question is how do we get our headers well we know the username and password and we know the url well a very simple and quick way to find the authorization um, headers is to use um, 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 a tool like like, um, like like postman for example a tool that allows you to do requests and provide also different kinds of authentication and authorization so if we copy this url and we go into postman i already have it here so if i would try and do a get request to this url um i have well i get not authorized yeah it's which is normal but if i do basic authentication and do admin and admin and then i send the request i get back the page and the status code of 200 and since now i have the page i can go into the headers and in the headers there is authorization let me just copy this one because I'm not really sure that I wrote it correctly. Authorization, perfecto. And in Postman, just copy this whole value here. Yeah? And then instead of headers, we do basic, basic. And now let's go to our Postman runner. And we actually have both our test passing. So the first one, where we did the uh, appending and the second one when we provided the um, authorization and there you have it this is how you can master the basic the basic authentication that is as always thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye